Oh deck, gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta 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 pee, gotta pee, 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 gotta gotta pee, ski, ski da dee da dee dee do do. Friggin' right, it's just rebuilt my K fine. Got some mango juice into it. It's fucking yummy. It's one thing about these K funds, you know, I'm only giving her like 10 watts at 2.3 ohms, and the flavor off of this shit is like fucking phenom. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're weird. Okay, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and uh, get some barbecueables, and then we're gonna barbecue, and then we're going to uh, eat food. And being a Sunday night, it's gonna be a chill night. I'm uh, currently re-watching Orange is the New Black Season 1 because if you like that show you should probably know that Season 2 has come out on the air as of last Friday. And that uh, theoretically for me it was two days ago. And by the time you guys see this it was probably like a month ago. But uh, it's the way she goes and things. So I'm gonna go and get some stuff. Holy, oh, it was sunny out here before. Like, what the hell is really going on? You know, it was all nice and stuff. Like, like a, an hour or two ago. Holy shit. Weather just took a dive bomb. Well, let's go to the grocery and uh, get some junk. That puppy's so mad at me right now. Like, you wouldn't believe so mad at me. Yep. Oh, frig yeah. I'm so happy my barbecue works. Kind of upset the little little patone there that yeah, click the fire the barbecue doesn't work anymore. And then I got to use an actual barbecue lighter to light my barbecue. But uh, I was thinking like I could just go to Crappy Tire or Walmart or something and buy a new one, but buy the one that runs off batteries that you press and hold it. And she goes, take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay, but I'm slowing down because there's people on the side of the road. Like you don't have to be a fucking idiot. Jesus. But. Um, no, like, I can always go to Walmart and just buy one of the electric jobbies and then, like, just punch a hole right through the deck, like, of uh, the uh, the front, the control mounting, whatever, and then install the button and then run the lead to where the sparker should be, where, where like, it originally was, you know, and then uh, install the new uh, arc sparker, son of a bitch, and then we'd be good to go and we'd have, uh, we could turn the gas on, but tick it, tick it, tick it, tick it, tick it until she friggin' shoots flames out of her, you know? And uh, like that's a pretty easy mod to do. I have the drill bits, the uh, metal cutting drill bits, and it wouldn't be too hard to blast a hole through that real shitty friggin' pig iron tin, you know? I'm pretty sure that's what Pug One means when he says pig iron. He's referring to cheap China made tools. Pig iron, like job mates pig iron, because it's like fucking junk. It's great for that job and that job only, but don't expect to hang on to it and use it for another job, because chances are you're gonna be replacing it for that job because. It's like a really low quality junk. I got a lot of job made shit at the house. I got a job made cordless drill. Funniest damn drill you'll ever see in your life. As you're running it, sparks are shooting out of the bum. Like totally out of the back, the ventilated area on the drills. Sparks are like literally arcing out of this thing like a freaking firework display. It is so awesomely bad. And then like you drill a hole and all you smell is burning plastic and like electrostatics and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Uh, probably not the safest power tool in my arsenal. I don't like to use it very often, but when I do, I like to wear sunglasses because I don't want to get fucking welders flash from my drill. Because I probably will, because it's pretty decked. Oh fuck, I hope they're still open till nine. Otherwise, we're going to Sobeys, and they have some pretty crappy friggin' uh, selection there. They, they did on Friday. They had some pretty crappy selection on Friday. So, like, they had, like, one steak, and then they had, like, a rack of ribs, but they wanted 72 bucks for it because apparently the cow was, like, pooping golden turds or something. I don't know. But uh, they didn't really have much in the meat of variety. And I'm thinking about buying some extra shit so I can make my lunches this week and maybe not go to the Mike's Mart, you know? Just get some bread and some bologna and some cheese and maybe some bread and some bologna and cheese sandwiches or maybe some ham and cheese sandwiches if they have the ham on sale. That'd be pretty good too. Get a bag of apples, bring some apples with me to work. Be good too. So that's why I go my grocery shopping on Sunday late is because usually this place is dead. You can go in, pick up your shit, pay for it and get the frig out in record time and then go home and barbecue the shit out of shit, you know? And that's what I like doing. 
god, I can't believe how hard that hits at 10 watts. I'm gonna bring her down to nine. On nine watts, this 2.3 ohm coil is throwing 4.5 volts. This device is throwing 4.5 volts at the coil. Like, that is awesome. Using the old dirty proto vapor. Haven't had this thing out of the out and running about in a while since I got the NES controller. I've been having problems getting it to charge. There's a, a short or something with the charge port that I need to address. So, haven't gotten around to it yet. Been a little bit preoccupied with other things and junk and stuff to even care about the charging port on my proto vapor. Freaking buddy comes in by instinct and goes and parks over by the beer store. He just realized that they're closed and his parking was stupid. So he's not gonna park there no more. I have no idea if I'm even parking in a spot right now. I see some lines, I don't see any handicapped parking only nonsense things, so we're probably safe here. I'll be right back, people. I'm just gonna rush inside, grab what I need, and then come back out. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Friggin' tons of room in the parking lot, and this guy's gotta park like right the fuck up right beside me. Like, uh, like right beside me. Like, what the fuck? Parking lot's empty. No, no, let's go make it a whore and a half to get in and out of this this car. Like, uh, objects and camera are closer than they appear. This guy's like, if he had a passenger, his passenger weighs like five pounds, and uh, they don't need much space. They slid out the window Dukes of Hazard style because I could barely open my door to get in. And yes, I left the mark on their car. Why? Because fuck them bitches. Anyway, enough of that angry shit. Um, they ever have some fucking killer deals over at the Son of a Bitch today. You guys know how I love my, my craft dinner. Uh, I love it. I love my mac and cheese in the Americas, but up here we call it craft dinner. Well, they had a super, super, super epic, amazing, friggin' awesome deal on it. You know, I usually buy, go to Sobeys and spend 12 bucks and buy the 12 packs in the box. You get, uh, 12 packages of macaroni and cheese at Kraft Dinner for like 12 bucks. They have it on sale over there for $5.88. Same thing. And I was like, fuck yeah. So I grabbed like four of them, right? And I go up to the cash and she's like, it's a limit of two per person. And I'm like, look at me, I'm so fat. I'm like two people, can I has? And they're like, no. And I'm like, fuck. So I had to put two back, but like I'm tempted to go there tomorrow and pick up another couple boxes, you know, just cause. It's like bloke in the chicken fiasco. When I was down at Blokes, uh, Food Basics had a deal. It was like eight bucks for a pack of, I think it was like six or eight boneless chickens. And that is a, oh my God, what the frig price. Like that there, eight bucks for me, that's like chicken every night for a week. Cause the fillets, or the fillets, no, that's not right. The uh, the morsels, I guess, or the, the, the chops or the cut was so fucking big that one of them filled me. And the one night bloke made us each two, and I ate them both, and then I had a whore of a, a, whore of a time trying to eat the friggin' uh, like like the salad and the friggin' potatoes. Like they were big lobs of chicken, but I missed it when I came back. I completely forgot because I wanted to go scoop up a couple for myself. I didn't want to buy them down there because I had no cooler to put them in. They would have been salmonella filled by the time they got back to the house, right? So I was like, well, fuck it. I'm gonna come back and then the day after the long weekend, I'm gonna go to the friggin' Food Basics and score me some, some chicken and I never did. Because all that stuff I bought from M&M's a bunch of vlogs ago with uh, my gift cards, yeah, that's all gone. That's all gone, that's all been barbecued and eaten. So, it's a little expensive over there at M&M's meat shops. Holy fuck, bud, I'm like really? You see I want to make a turn, you slow right down. What is it with people doing that? It's like, oh, this guy's gonna make a turn, but he might he might try and jump in front of me, so I better like bring my speed down to like the floor and, and not go fast. If this guy decides to dart, he's gonna take me out and it's gonna suck dick. Like, no, stop. I'm not gonna run you off the fucking road. Just hurry up and go so I can go. Oh, hey, road rage, road rage. I apologize for that. But I'm really excited because uh, I bought these things a while back. They're these like cuts of pork but they're seasoned and they're delicious and amazing and they had them again and I haven't seen them there since winter so now that they're there again I'm all excited so I bought two packs one for tonight and one for whenever else I decide to kick over the barbecue and friggin burn shit oh I'm really enjoying my k-fun right now this mango juice in the k-fun is like simply amazing well either he bought the house or he's selling the house but he's putting up a for sale sign or taking one down, not sure. Wasn't there to 
view enough to make the final assumption. Oh, man, I thought my lawn was dicked. Nope. Some of these sons of bitches got way worse lawns than I do, and then some other people have these immaculate fucking rolling plains that are just beautiful. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now the plan is to go home and get shit did, fire up the barbecue, cook some dinner, eat some dinner, and I think tonight I'm going to give that, uh, what the hell is that game called? Uh, Ghost Dogs or whatever the fuck is. I think it's called Ghost Dogs. Can't remember. Anyway, I bought the game like last weekend and I still haven't fucking played it. And it's Watch Dogs is the game. So I'm probably going to play some of that tonight and do some recording of it maybe probably because uh, I kind of want to give her a go and see if it's a piece of shit. Anyway, we'll check in when we're home. Oh, my best friend's got a friend and they both hate me. Yay! So much food! Alright, so this is that pork that I was talking about. It's friggin' awesome. They coat it with this shit and it just tastes fantastic. So I'm gonna cook up some of this and some rice. We're gonna get supper going. Alrighty, that's all said and done. Now we need to go out to the barbecue. Due to the fact that I need two hands to light it, I gotta light this thing on like with one hand and stuff. I can't film it. But, uh... Oh, she is right lit. She is right lit. So, that's awesome. Oh, frig yeah, people. I got the tasties onto the barbecue. Look at them, eh? They just coat them in some sort of a spice and it just makes them delicious. Look at that. Doesn't that look epic? Take a look at that one. That one's delicious. That one will also be delicious. I am so anxious for supper. Well, the meat's done. Rice won't be, but let's go in the house anyway. Like I said, the rice isn't done yet, son of a bitch. But the meat is done, and it looks glorious. All right, scampers? Scampers. Scampers. Right? Right? What do you say? Nothing? I don't know what's going on with that cat, but uh, whatevs. Just waiting on the rice, and then we're going to have ourselves some Om Nom Malicious. It's gonna be friggin' awesome. Two things I wanted to get when I was out at the grocery store that I forgot about. One, was more coffee whitener. I got enough for tomorrow and that's it. And number two, was some of that Jack Dagnall sauce that bloke had. Holy shit, did that stuff ever smell good, taste good, was good, and everything but good. That was some damn good barbecue sauce. I kinda wanted to buy some, and I didn't make a list like I always do when I go shopping, and I didn't get any, so. Whoops, that's the way she goes. So I'm thinking not this week, but next week I'm gonna work on getting the Trans App, uh, Trans App? Yeah, the Trans Am up and running. Uh, I just need to like get the battery, put it on the charger, recharge it, I'm gonna do a slow charge, should work fine. Battery's not that old, and uh, it still has volts in it, so it's not like it's flat, flat, flat. But uh, it definitely does need a little visit with the Mastercraft freaking charger to make it hunky-dory and happy and things. Then I'll go pick up my sticker, and then we'll start driving the Trans Am every day and take a little break on the old G6, and then put some money away, and then take the G6 up to up to uh, Rex's buddy, and be like, here's car, it's broken, you fix, and do. Well, that'd be my battle plan. And then we'll get the G6 all fixed up, and Trans Am will be rolling perfectly fine, because fuck, that car's been mint. I hope it's still awesome. Knock on wood, you know what I'm saying? I'm surprised the dog didn't start barking there. But um, I'm hoping that everything goes good with that. But lately, you, you see my luck. My luck's been like garbage and things. But uh, hopefully uh, that's about to change. So, oh, I hate waiting for things. I hate waiting for things. But yeah, this is what I got, people. Um, these big boxes of friggin' craft dinner. Regularly, I pay 14 bucks for them. They're on sale for five bucks over at Food Basics, so I got two of them. Originally had four, but they're like two per customer, sir, and I'm like, uh -huh. So I just let it go, and I got my two. And tomorrow I might go back and get two more, and then the next day two more. Because <clears throat> I fucking love KD at night, like when I get off of work and I just want a snack. I don't feel like sitting at the barbecue and cooking up burgs and stuff. I just want a filling snack. Make a box of KD, problem solved. Perfect. Oh, definitely not the healthiest thing thing for you, but you know, I could care less about that. It just it fills my belly, makes me happy, life goes on. And dinner is ready, people. Well, I'm gonna go eat because I'm friggin' starved. I'm gonna shut this video down here, so hopefully you enjoyed it. My plan for tonight, like I already said, is eat some food, vape a little, and maybe play some of that uh, ghost dog or whatever the fuck it's called, uh, watchdog, watchdog. 
and then go from there. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on blogging. Uh.